Hey everybody, it's me Posh and I wanted to show you how to print the DIY fish personals on an actual Mac computer to fit them to your majority. So hopefully I can make this really quick for you guys and not too long, but keep in mind you're, you have to probably do some test print with your own particular printer. Mine is an HP OfficeJet Pro 8100, so it is a dual printing computer uh, printer that also has a color feature. Um, but for this, you won't need color because it's a black and white dream. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is go to Acrobat, go to File, and actually go to Page Setup. And Page Setup, um, typically mine is usually defaulted to the man standing right side up, and it's usually at 100%. Um, but Acrobat for me actually saves based on the last setting I was in. So you want to ensure that the guy is laying on his side with the arrow pointing up. So I guess that would kind of be considered landscape version for the Mac. And then you scale this at 115% and you press OK, making sure that it's on US letter. Because sometimes I've seen it default to A4 from my particular setup for some reason. So go ahead and press OK. If I can press it. <laughs> from there you go to File, Print, or you can hit the Quick Print option. Either one is fine and get you to the, the same pop-up window. From here, it's going to automatically populate with whatever settings you currently have your printer set on. You're going to go ahead and start with a couple changes, starting with Pages 9. And Page 9, if, you've not, if you don't own this particular set from mine, uh, Black and White Dream is the day on one page and it gives you two copies of day on one page which is what I have set up in my current uh, Midori Trailers notebook. So page nine. From there you want to make sure your subsets are set on all pages in range, document and markups, shrink to printable area, area and then the auto rotate and center button should be checked on for you guys. If it's not checked on, what typically happens is the pages don't print out correctly. From me testing it out, for me, it does it, it either overprints them as far as oversizing and they don't fit on the page, or um, it'll actually change my whole entire setup back to uh, landscape, which I won't work because it needs to be in, or just change it from landscape back to portrait, which you don't want. From here I do a, a cross check to make sure everything else is set correctly. Again, these are black and white so I will make sure that my printer is actually set up. I have to do it in two places, but it has to be on black and white. I press OK. From there I will go through my actual advanced screens. So I go to layout just to make sure nothing's changed. We're looking at a landscape version. From there I go to color matching. It's set on vendor matching. I don't change anything with that. If I were to go to color sync, it'd start asking me about doing some extra changes, which um, I just don't fool with. I've never played with them or tested them out to see if it makes any difference in the print, but I just stick to what works. So vendor matching. From there, I go to paper handling. I make sure it's not scaled to fit paper size because I've turned that on on the first print page and it skewed off all my printing, which is why you just test it out and make sure um, it, what works, you test what works for your actual printer. Ah, I'm all mumbly jumbly, but <laughs> um, skip over cover page and schedule or unless you've made some changes to it based on any printing history you've done, but I will show you what my screens currently look like. I don't make any changes to them. There's a scheduler. I want my document to actually print now. I don't need to delay. Two-sided printing. Um, I, the first day I tested this, I had it print to both sides and it did not print correctly. So I've decided based on success rate to print one side first then go back and refeed that into the printer and then print on the other side. So I keep two sided printing off. From there paper type and quality I set mine on normal. You can change change it to best you just have to test your quality out to see what it is you like. Cause for some it may print too light, for others it may be too dark. Just test it out on a test run. From here, again, you guys just saw me change it in another setting from black and white. I have to change it in two spots. It has to go to grayscale on the screen as well. Um, from there, it'll say high quality. I've also seen it where mine will also give me the option of black ink only. It just kind of depends on 
um, what option I choose on the advance. Either one still works for mine. From there, I go back to copies and pages. And you can print off however many copies of one sided version first because I don't advise to do dual side unless your printer can take that. Just do a test run. Um, then go ahead and press print. And what will happen is you're going to turn out with this uh, full size letter page of two two day on one pages and then you have a back side of day on two pages um, typically on this you will have to do a little trimming at the top and on the sides what I did to do mine I didn't really measure I just took one of my Midori inserts laid it right on top of this and traced around it in order to do the cutting um, for sizing purposes and then all you have to do is fold it in half correctly and you're ready to go so I hope this video is helpful for setting your Windows or your Mac computer up depending on which video you've watched and if not if you have questions uh, go ahead and post them below to reach out to me and if I can answer them in the actual text form I will if not I will respond by video for you guys until then I will talk to you guys later bye